Do you have grandchildren? If you do, I bet you take a lot of photos of your grandchildren, right? And as a new grandma myself, I can understand why. But way before I became a grandma, I noticed that some grandparents were missing a very important photo, or if they did get that photo, it wasn't as good as it could be. I'm Linda Satkas with FamilyHistoryHero.com, and I have a little bit of photo advice for grandparents and parents that will make your grandchildren and children happy. And that is to be sure to get a photo of yourself with each of your grandchildren, just the two of you, because that will be very special for that grandchild. And of course, each of your grandchildren will want a photo of just them with you. Like this special photo of my sister with our grandmother and this photo of my other sister with our grandfather. But sadly, I never got a picture of myself with either grandparent. For one thing, back then you didn't take as many trips as we do today. And traveling long distances wasn't that common. And we live far away from them. But even today, you can miss out on that important one-on-one -on -one grandparent with grandchild photo if you're not paying attention. Secondly, when you do get your photo taken with a grandchild, especially a newborn or a younger baby, avoid a common mistake I've seen in some grandparent photos. Let's take a look at some images and watch for a common theme. Did you catch it? In every one of those photos, the parent or grandparent is looking down at the baby or their face is mostly hidden, which is fine as long as your goal is to get a picture of the baby. But if you want a baby with grandparent photo, be sure to show both your face and the baby's face, like my mom did in this photo. It's not the best picture of either of us, but I love this photo. It means so much to me. And in this case, it's my mom and me. So this applies to parents as well. Be sure you get individual photos with each of your children. Here's what Charlie and I did with our grandson. With a newborn, you'll need to support the baby's head. I tried to get our heads as close together as I could by laying him on my shoulder with his head sideways so the camera could capture both of our faces. And here is a similar idea with baby sleeping on Charlie's chest. Here's another way to hold the baby so your faces are close together and you're both facing the camera. We call him a burrito when he's in his swaddling clothes. It's so cute. So all you need is one good photo of you with your new grandchild where you can see both faces and then you can take as many other photos as you want. Like this one of me reading to my grandson to give him a little head start in loving books. When a baby gets a little older and can hold up his or her head, you can have a lot of fun with photos. I especially like photos that show the love and affection that grandparents have toward their grandchildren. As grandchildren get older, have someone take photos of you doing something with a grandchild. This will help them remember their interactions with you better. My husband loved his granny, but when I ask him to tell me about her and what made her so wonderful, he can hardly remember anything specific about her or anything he did with her because from grade school on, he doesn't have any photos of them together at all, even though she stayed with them for extended periods of time during grade school and high school. So granny must have made Charlie feel really special and that's the most important thing, of course. But if you want your grandchildren to remember the special things you did together, then have someone else take pictures of you and them doing it. So that's my little bit of photo advice for grandparents and parents. Your grandchildren will love those photos. If you know a grandparent or parent who would appreciate this advice, be sure to share this video with them. And I invite you to subscribe if you haven't already and click the bell to be notified when I release another video. I'm Linda Satkas with FamilyHistoryHero.com where we show you how to turn your boxes of photos into easy to share family stories.